left Atlanta here. We're on our way to Vegas. Vegas. Lolly, I'm Smith, and I'm Lolly, and together we're, we're Smith, Smith and Lolly. Today we're gonna talk about things to do in Las Vegas as a family. All right, guys, what better way to kick this video off than by discussing breakfast? Yes, with so many options out here in Vegas, we decided to go with Seagulls Bagel Mania. This is a great location. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's airy. It's not connected to a casino. And it's very Instagrammable. Like it has, it has a lot of character to it. You can get those great photos for your family memories. Yes, and definitely the inside is beautiful. Got a lot of different options to choose from. Well, you know what's great about it? Inside Seagulls Bagel Mania, there is a pink box donut. What kid doesn't like donuts? So you can go ahead and get them all sugared up before you start your day. <laughs> First up is one of the oldest hotels on the Las Vegas Strip, the iconic Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. Entertaining families since first opening their doors in 1968, this spot is an ideal destination for a family Vegas trip. Due to its location and dated theme, it does get a bit of a bad rap. However, it is one of the most affordable hotels on the Strip and the best bang for your buck, especially when traveling with kids. Included in your room rate, and a resort fee is access to their guest only splash zone water park perfect to keep the kids cool in the vegas sun while also letting them burn off energy and get a great night's sleep so you know you can hit the slots later they also technically have three pools but one is for rv guests exclusively however if you're not a guest there are still plenty of family friendly things for you to enjoy the adventure dome is an indoor theme park it's pretty reasonable price but nowadays there are so many discounts available. I'm sure you can find some. And free to the public, they offer daily circus performances every half an hour, center stage of their Midway Fairgrounds. That's right, I said Fairgrounds, because to refer to Midway as simply an arcade will be a huge mistake. Circus Circus also has many dining options to fit any budget from familiar family food court favorites to romantic dining at the steakhouse which is why it's a great choice for a family vacation next up let's hop on over to westgate las vegas resort if you're subscribed to our channel and have been watching our videos this one will come as no surprise to you we love the westgate and are in fact timeshare owners here but let me tell you why it's a great family option as a timeshare property, they cater to couples and families, so they've created a unique experience here. Sure, they have an arcade. It's nothing too fancy, but it's bright, clean, and has a decent amount of gaming options to choose from. Plus, it's in a completely smoke-free part of the casino, away from the gaming floor, which is a huge plus. Lolly, the kids, and myself did spend a good couple of hours there actually having fun. Like many casinos in Vegas, they have plenty of shopping options that you or your preteen or teens would enjoy. Whether you want some crazy socks, the latest and hottest tech, or some really cool memorabilia to take home, you'll find something here. And if you're anything like us, you like to take in a show or two while in Las Vegas. Westgate is home to Jen Kramer. Her magic show is actually pretty good. It's a family friendly event. However, they do offer beverage services as it's located in the cabaret. Jen is quirky and funny, and even though some of her tricks seem simple, I guarantee you, you will leave wondering, how in the heck did she do that? This show is Smith family approved. The Westgate has plenty of dining options for you and your family, from pizza to burgers to tacos. However, if you want to entertain the kiddos, I'm strongly going to recommend Benihana. First, it's a beautifully themed, Asian-inspired little village from its koi pond to the water features you're gonna love the aesthetics of the place it's two stories downstairs you'll find your sushi robata and more all upstairs is where you're gonna find the classic benihana hibachi experience one of the things we like most about this property is that even though it's an off-strip resort it still manages to keep you connected the monorail offers you air-conditioned fast travel to several properties along the strip plus 
the kids will get a kick out of hovering over all the cars. Heck, you can even get a couple of all-day passes and just ride the monorail for a quick, cheap tour of Vegas. Now, like Circus Circus, Westgate offers free parking, but that's not the case with many properties on the Strip, and parking fees can catch up to you. Well, Westgate offers a free courtesy shuttle that will take you to the Strip, the other Westgate property, and Fremont Street, but not the airport. They don't have an airport shuttle. I don't know why. They also offer one of the most family-friendly pool environments in all of Vegas. The moosehead-shaped pool is deceptively larger than it appears. Surrounded by cabanas and daybeds, there's plenty of room in and out of the water to relax. The max depth is around 5 feet. However, there are typically at least two lifeguards on duty. The pool bar and grill is a must try. Great food and even better drinks. For our third recommendations, we have chosen the Orleans. We've already done a complete in-depth video on this property, so definitely go check that video out. But here we're just going to highlight some of the things that make this great choice for families. There's going to be a bit of a theme to this video if you can't already tell. Arcade. Let's face it, Vegas is one giant arcade for adults, so it's only fitting that the kiddos get to game out as well. Welcome to Time Out Arcade at the Orleans. This arcade is a bit bigger than the one at the Westgate and has a few more gaming options. Fully loaded with some classics and current hot games for your amusement. We enjoyed this arcade so much that even though we weren't staying here, we returned on three separate occasions and had a blast each time. The arcade is located just outside the Century Orleans movie theater on the second level of the casino. At one time, they also had the kids time childcare area, but rumor has it they have since closed it down permanently. Hopefully it will return one day because it was huge and amazing. The Orleans Bowling Center is your best bowling bet for quality family time. Beautiful location with 52 lanes means there's plenty of room and you can bowl as much as you like. They have a snack bar, buffers, and a ball shoot so even the littlest bowler in your crew can join in on the fun. Last but not least, the food. Anyone who has ever done a family trip knows kids can be picky and unpredictable. So choosing where to eat is a major point to the happiness level and budget. The food choices at the Orleans range from familiar spots such as Fuddruckers and TGIF to more refined dining experiences. Formerly Bally's, the Horseshoe Casino Resort has the newest, latest and greatest arcade on the whole Las Vegas Strip. And I've personally never been, but I've heard wonderful things about it. That is a good size, lots of game, and they're all new, so you can't go wrong with that. But not only do they have an arcade, they also have the Twilight Zone Miniature Golf it's like a black light miniature golf. It looks pretty cool. It's sparkly. And across from it, they have a bar for grown ups. So I think it's definitely worth a check out. All right, guys, let's head on over to the Flamingo Hotel, another Vegas legend. All right, so here you can bring your children to the nature preserve. Um, it's where you're going to see all those awesome flamingos, but they also have other like birds, like ducks, there's, there's giant koi fish in the pond, there's some parrots, so there's lots of stuff that you can show the kiddos right there, so it's kind of like a free zoo in a way, uh, but seeing all those gaggle flamingos, is that what you call a group of flamingos, flock, gaggle, I don't know, but they will definitely have a great time over there. Once you're done having all your tropical fun at the Flamingo, head on over to the forum shops at Caesars Palace where you're going to catch the Atlantis show and there's also an aquarium there. Um, so that gives the kids a little something to do if you get there a little early while you're waiting on the show. There's also a cheesecake factory right there. There's a couple shops around. This show, hands down, one of the best free shows you're going to catch on the strip. Here's an example. Check it out. Oh, sister, your precious ice. 
Folks, moving right along, sticking with our Vegas Strip icons, we're going to head to New York, New York, where you can catch the Big Apple Arcade and Roller Coaster. Now, that roller coaster, you may have seen it in CSI, other shows, you can check it out. It is insane. It goes all in and out of the casino. I'm not doing it, but you can. Uh, also, right at New York, New York, you got Hershey's World. So get them over there for the chocolate love. But I think this ain't connected with New York, New York. But it's right across the street. And I actually kind of think it's a little bit better. Take them over to M&M's World. So if you got the young as hell, if you're a grown-up and you grew up on M&M's like, I did, baby. Get on over there. Get some pictures. Get you some candy. Check out their little movie. It's a fun time for everybody. And if Hershey's World and Eminem World didn't satisfy your chocolate DNA, well, you're going to get yourself over to Ethel M's for that gourmet stuff, baby. So they have the Chocolate Factory, plus they have a Cactus Garden. It's beautiful. It's fun. You're going to get yourself a free sample of chocolate anyway. Um, they even have, like, drinks for adults. And they have, like, a, like a what do you call it, like a, a happy hour and stuff. But, so check that out. But then, definitely take the kiddos outside. Let them see that good old nature, man. It's, it's beautiful. You can't go wrong with the Cactus Garden. It's a great stop. And what good is taking your family to Vegas if you're not going to swing by the world famous Las Vegas sign? And hey, while you're there right across the street, guess what? The Pinball Hall of Fame, baby. You win a couple of quarters. You having fun all day. Hundreds of games in there. We had a great time. Me, my family, my kids. I highly recommend it. Old school stuff. It was great to share the experience with them. But if you keep going further down the strip, you're going to come across the Silverton. Now, the Silverton is another resort and casino. Technically, it's on the strip, but it's off the strip because it's far away from all the other hotels. The Silverton is a huge, beautiful property with lots of food options and other things. But what's fun for the kids, they're connected to Bass Pro's Shops. Now, this Bass Pro Shops is an outdoors world, and it has all types of cool stuff on the inside. I highly recommend you check it out. But even better, at the Silverton, then outdoor world you got the mermaid so boom another aquarium but this one you can say you have mermaids that you're gonna do the stingray feed-ins it's a beautiful tank there's a couple of sharks in there our kids had a good time they enjoyed it the mermaid show was cool i'm not i don't list times and things like that because i'm sure they they can change so i want you to be able to go there and check it out for yourself like I said, guys, the kids, they had a blast enjoying the aquarium. Like, they're going to feed the stingrays for you. They'll teach you some stuff. Like, there's a guy, an actual diver in the tank, and he's, like, telling you all about the different fish, the tank itself, how they treat the water. It's actually pretty interesting. The kids were totally into it. And it's huge. Plenty of spots to see and stand. It, go, it goes around, like, a full circle. So, it's worth a check out for sure. It's just outside this large sturgeon habitat uh, in front of the outdoor world, which also has a, a couple of fish tanks inside as well. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, time to jump over into light speed and let's get over to area 15. Listen, if you have never been, you have got to go families, couples, single. I recommend everybody swing by area 15 there's a ton of stuff to do uh like i said go in the day with your family uh because that's that's the best time for families to get there the children had a good time lots of cool stuff to see inside and out at night i believe after 10 p.m it pretty much turns into like an adult playground and it gets a little bit uh cooler for us grown folk you know but even in the daytime, they have the liftoff lounge there. Uh, it has a, a little ride that rides up and down. And, of course, you can get drinks and stuff. They have a little cornhole seating area outside. You get to sit on these giant uh, cornhole bean bags, and you can play the cornhole. But the real the goods are inside. Again, if you've never been, I highly recommend you go here. It's, it's worth it. It's, not too, it's free to get in. 
Uh, but if you want to do anything, it does cost money to do some of the activities. However, there's places to shop, places to eat. I'm not going to go into the details of Omega Mart. I'm sure you have seen it. If not, be surprised. I'm just going to say this. It is 100% worth it. I loved it. My family loved it. They're interactive little things to do. Go in there, check it out. It's all black light. Um, it, it, I can't stop saying his praises enough. Oh, and before I get, someone may offer you a pair of like these 3D glasses, um, especially if you do the uh, immersive uh, event. My recommendation, get the glasses. Trust me. <laughs> All right, so when you're done inside, you can head outside and across the street to the Illuminarium Experiences. It's like a, it's like a visual effects type deal. It's pretty cool, worth a check out. But me, what I thought was even better is we love zombies in this house. I don't know about you guys. I ever since the original Night of the Living Dead. Well, I love the movie Army of the Dead. They have Army of the Dead, Las Vegas which is really cool. If you've seen that movie, you know it was based on Las Vegas, but this is a virtual reality experience that's fun. You, you wear VR glasses, you get into this little truck and stuff, but to go into their uh, experience, it's free, and it's like all zombie apocalypse out. It's definitely worth a check out. Good photo spot, you know what I mean? So go in there, check that out, do the experience. It's worth it. It was, it was fun. I think I thought it was fun. Guys, listen, we love Vegas. Been going twice a year for at least the last five years for sure, but been going for a decade. This new Vegas is great. I love all the digital screens and stuff, and it's still brightly lit and colorful, but give me old school Vegas. I am a stickler for nostalgia. I love that. So I'm highly, highly, highly going to recommend you get yourselves over to the Neon Boneyard, the Neon Museum, whatever you want to call it, it is 1000% worth it. Um, they have a couple of shows. They have a tour and they have a show called Brilliance. See Brilliance. If you can, if you have to pick between the two, go see Brilliance and do it at night. I say do both, but if you can only do one, do Brilliance. Do it at night. Do not shoot yourself in the foot. And when you're done with that, if you can afford to go, go over to the Miracle Mouse, the Saks Theater, and catch Vegas the show. Once you go by the Neon Museum and you see Vegas the show, you'll see why I suggest doing them both. And last, but certainly not least, let's get outside. Vegas is beautiful. I love the strip. I love all the lights and everything. But one of the reasons we like to go also is the desert. We like that peacefulness. So it's important to get your kids off the electronics get them out of the casino once in a while and let's get them over to red rock canyon it's about 20 miles from the strip uh 20 minutes or so it's worth it just to ride around the loop itself takes you about 30 minutes and it's a nice peaceful drive but along the way there's there's like pull-offs and drop-off points you can go hiking you can rent like little dune buggies and stuff there's a lot of cool fun things to do at red rock canyon i highly recommend that you go there you check it out go inside their office they're going to tell you a little bit about the area about the location about the native tribes that used to live there um i can't say anything more about it so I'm going to go ahead and basically wrap this video up. There's a ton of more things that you can actually do in Las Vegas as a family. Don't ever let no one tell you that it's not a family-friendly place. You hear me? Because it certainly is. Well, guys, that will do it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to watch our video. If you haven't done so already, please remember to like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. And hey, if you don't do that, I appreciate you anyway. At least do this favor for me. Be inspired. Be inspirational. Be. Peace out.